Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Caesar back at it with another video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Caesar. I drop sneaker related content video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell for the next time I drop a video. It updates you when I drop it. So yeah, let's get into the video. In today's video, we'll be reviewing the Emilion Door 993s in the berries and cream colorway. talking about quality sizing and the previous collaborations with new balances so and on feet so be sure to stick around towards the end of the video if you guys aren't familiar with the brand Emily Andor I'm sure most of you know already but Emily Andor is a lifestyle fashion brand based off Queens New York flagship located in Mulberry Street in Manhattan in Soho um, They've done a lot of collaborations with the New Balance I think four major collaborations but they also done Puma, Kif, Porsche, even like a custom car, which is pretty cool. Teddy Santos, who is the founder of Alien Door, is now actually the creative director for New Balance, which is pretty awesome to see. And I, he's actually leaked some photos on the 990 V6. If you haven't visited their flagship in Soho on Mulberry Street, I do recommend you visit, get their coffee. It's really delicious and the aesthetic is really nice. It's all white. I'm pretty sure you've seen it already on TikTok or Instagram. I know their items are, are a bit pricey and stuff, but I think you'll appreciate how much effort they put in for like the customer experience. Maybe I can just go. Yeah, be sure to check them out. With this New Balance collaboration, I decided to do two colorways, which is the broccoli and beef colorway. And here the berries and cream. I don't think those are the official name colorways, but I know the first one, beef and broccoli, was actually inspiration from a Timberland shoe. Um, I saw an Instagram post, but it's just actually pretty cool. I actually never worn those shoes, but it's cool to see that Teddy has drawn inspiration from a different shoe, like a boot type. But for this one, I'm actually not sure which shoe was insp inspiration from. I think it's just his own, which is pretty nice. So here it is, guys. The Amy Leandora 993. Berries and cream colorways, you can see close. You got suede all over, kind of like a cream, creamish colorway. Blue and purple mesh. Well, the purple is kind of like a, another type of suede, kind of like harder, and this blue is the mesh. The black tongue with the Made in USA New Balance. Um, black suede as well, also. Kind of like a velour type of material, where we have the Milan door patch. But yeah, it's a nice feeling. I think it's pretty premium, if you ask me. Towards the back, you have Emily Andor in a canvas material. You can see that in the back. Purple New Balance branding. Midsole, all black around, even from the bottom. You have some hints of purple, which is pretty nice. Your types of laces, this purple and cream, and just like a solid cream in this cotton laces. But I decided to go with the black. I think it looks much better, just like the contrast. Way better, I think it complements the midsole. So, yeah. Sizing wise, I would say true to size. Um, I know if you guys want a snug fit, I would say half a size down. Um, I did get a size 10. I know with my Jordan 1s and other New Balances like the 992, I do get a half size down just because I think they run a little like narrow and like long. But these are actually pretty nice. Um, I don't mind having a size 10. I don't feel like I'm creasing it and stuff. These shoes also come in this screen box, not your standard New Balance box with Amy on door branding in the middle. Guys, you guys want to check that. To finish off this video, is this a cop or drop? My opinion, I think it is a cop. Not 
much of a must cop. Did get these off a uh, raffle off Amy Leondor. So I did pay retail, which was about $225 after shipping. I think these are going over $300. I don't think they're that worth it. Considering that Teddy Santos is the creative director, we will see a lot of Amy Leondor collaborations with New Balances. So if you do really like this shoe, go for it. If not, if you're considering yes or no, I would say wait because there will be much more collaborations in the future. My overall opinion of the shoe, I feel like it's a great colorway. I think over the past few collaborations with New Balances, I think Emily Andor was focusing too much on the 550. I think they're a nice shoe, but it's always nice to get like a new model. I know this is the first time working on the 993. Um, kind of similar to the 992. That's pretty much it for the video. If you guys rock with this video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Also the notification bell for when I drop a new video. I try post once or twice a week. Considering what do I get in the mail or what shoes I get. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram. Handles right here. I do post a lot of fit pics or um, I guess shoes I get early in the mail before posting the YouTube video. So be sure to follow me. The feet portion is up next. Thank you guys. Appreciate y'all. Peace. <laughs>